Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you're not able to turn on Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi option is grayed out in your Windows machine. Now, to resolve this issue, the first thing what you could do is you could go ahead and check if your airplane mode is on. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page on the left hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on network and internet. Under network and internet on the right hand side, go ahead and locate for airplane mode and make sure it is turned off. You may also click on this and see if any of these options are off so that the airplane mode is completely off on your computer. Once this is done, you may close this window and then you may go ahead and try to connect your Wi-Fi and check if your issue has been resolved. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and enable the Wi-Fi adapter on your computer. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type ncpa.cpl. Basically, this is a command to open the network connection. So you may click on OK. This should open the network connection window. Go ahead and choose the uh, network or the Wi-Fi connections what has been enabled on the computer. So basically, this is for my LAN and on the right hand side, it is for my Wi-Fi. So in case if it has been disabled or if it has been, uh, you see a red cross, what you could do is you could do a right click and then click on disable and then do a right click again and then click on enable. Close this window and then try to check if you are able to connect to the internet or if your internet is working. Now this should definitely fix the problem. Now in spite of trying this step and if you are still facing a problem, the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and check for auto LAN config services in the services window. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type services dot msc and then click on ok this should open the services window under services window you will have to go ahead and look for wlan auto config it would be in alphabetical order so wlan auto config is what you need to select you will have to do a right click and then click on properties make sure the startup type is being set to automatic and then click on apply and then click on OK. And at the same time, what you could also do is you may also do a right click and then click on restart the service so that the WLAN auto config service is being completely uh, restarted. Once this is done, you may go ahead and close this window, try to connect your Wi Fi and check if your issue has been resolved. The next step, what you could do is you could go ahead and check your Wi Fi drivers from your device manager. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you have the device manager open, you may go ahead and expand this window. Under device manager, you will have to go ahead and look for network adapters. And under this, make sure your default network drivers are enabled. There is no red cross or it is grayed out. And at the same time, what you could do is you can go ahead and choose your network default network adapters. In my case, it is Qualcomm. It could be Intel or anything else in your case. You could do a right click and then click on update driver. Search automatically for the drivers and then click on close. Close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now in spite of all this step and if you are still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and reset your network. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. This should take you to the windows settings window. Now on the left hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on network and internet. On the right hand side, you will have to scroll down until you find advanced network settings. Click on it. Under this, you will see an option which says network reset. Click on it and then click on reset now. When you get a prompt, are you sure you want to reset your network settings? You may click on yes. Close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Now, in spite of all this, if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and run the network troubleshooter on the computer. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, on the left hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on Windows Update. Then on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and choose the option which says Advanced Option. Now here, you will have to go ahead and look for Recovery. Click on Recovery. And then at the very top, you would see an option which says Fix Problem Without Resetting the PC. 
click on it here you would see an option which says troubleshoot click on other troubleshooter under this you would see a troubleshooter for network and internet in case if you have used the network and internet troubleshooter you would find it under most frequent otherwise you would find it under other once you locate for network and internet click on run follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the screen and wait until the diagnosis is complete what this will do is this will try to go ahead and fix the issue by itself once this is done close the window restart your computer and check if you are able to connect to the internet in spite of all the step and if you are still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and flush dns and reset windsock settings to do this, you will have to open command prompt on your computer. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type CMD or command prompt. You will see the best match for command prompt. You can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the command prompt open, you will have to copy and paste the command from the video description. Now, the first command is to go ahead and reset the windsock settings. So all you have to do is you have to copy the command from the video description, do a right click on the command prompt and that should automatically paste the command and hit enter. Wait until you see the message saying that successfully reset the windsock settings and you will have to restart the computer. Now before you restart the computer, also run another command to flush DNS. So you can copy the command from the video description, do a right click and then click on paste and hit enter. So you would see a message saying that successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And at the same time, there are two other commands. What you can also run is to uh, release IP config and renew IP config. So you can do a copy the command from the video description and hit enter. And at the same time, to renew the IP, you will have to do a right click, hit enter. This should successfully execute the command. Close the command prompt window restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved now in spite of all this step now this should definitely fix the problem in spite of all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what you could also do is you can go ahead and try to install the windows update check for the windows update and see if there are any updates to be installed to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you may go ahead and click on windows update and then on the right hand side, you would see an option which says check for the updates. In case if your Windows updates are up to date, you would see this message. You can go ahead and click, for, click on check for the updates. See if there are any updates to be installed. In case if there are updates to be installed, go ahead and install them. You can also go ahead and look for advanced option and then see if there are any optional updates available. In my case, there is one optional update available. Check that box and then click on download and install that update. Close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Now all these steps should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step and if you're still not able to connect to the Wi-Fi or if the Wi-Fi options are grayed out, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.